The nice thing about the chemical peel is that it's relatively quick. It takes about half an hour to do. It's done under a local anesthesia and um, it's, it's relatively pain free. Really it takes off the whole top layer of the skin. So it looks a lot worse than it really is. But then at about five to seven to maybe nine days later, the skin literally peels off in sheets and the underlying new skin is underneath. I'm Leah Scherzer, I'm 52 years old, and I am considering having a facelift, um, possibly uh, some dermabrasion for up here, and a uh, chemical peel. You can see that she suffered from a lot of skin damage from the sun, and this is very typical for people who live in California. So after the face and neck lift, it's best if we perform a chemical peel, and that will take care of a lot of the sun damaged areas. In addition, it's going to significantly improve the quality of her skin. I feel like I've stepped back into to time. Time quit for me somehow. Um, I was put on a shelf before. I'm back off the shelf. You know, where I was with my daughter, I was more like grandma than mom. I am now squarely mom here. Leah had quite a bit of sun damage. You know, she has that California skin and the chemical peel did an amazing job. Just taking that, that top layer off and giving her that nice, thicker, more vascular skin underneath. She has more of a glowing appearance right now, more of a youthful appearance.